using a stereo amplifier as a monoblock. Hmm. Manfred in Manila in the Philippines, of course, writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, my apologies for bothering you. Oh please, you're not bothering me. <laughs> Especially as I know the issue has been discussed in the past. Okay. Uh, however, I would kindly ask again, as I need absolute clarity on this matter. The two channels of a stereo power amplifier are fed the same monaural audio signal coming from the preamp by means of a splitter cable, of a Y splitter. If that's possible, how may I connect the speaker? It all sounds so simple to me, and I would sincerely hope it is just that. Please enlighten me. Many thanks. Yeah, I know, that's a tough one. You know, you've got, let's say that you have a 100 watt per channel stereo amplifier, which means I have 200 watts, right? I got a left channel that puts out 100 watts. I have a right channel that puts out 100 watts. Now, if I feed them the same signal, I should be able to get 200 watts, yeah, maybe? Um, it seems like it. I mean, why not? And how would I hook them up? Well, the first thing you'd think about doing is hooking the pluses together and the minuses together, and that should combine the power, and we would get twice. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. I'm sorry. I know, well, and you're looking for absolute clarity. Well, there's your clarity. Ain't gonna work doesn't work. So, how to explain? Um, theoretically, and I'm not saying you should do this, but theoretically, if you take an amplifier and put it in parallel with another amplifier, which is essentially what you're doing, right? You're putting the output of one amp, tying it together, the output of the other amp. Theoretically, those two combined outputs should be able to drive a lower impedance so that if this one is capable of driving four ohms and this one two, you know, the same, you put them together, now we should be able to drive, you know, two ohms or one ohm. And that's theoretically possible except that in a practical sense, when you take those two amplifiers, they each have their own feedback mechanisms. They're gonna be fighting each other. They don't mix and match so well. Now, give me a soldering iron and a pair of clippers, and I could go in and make that work. You know, I would disconnect one of the feedback loops. I would put the amplifier in parallel with the other one, wrap one feedback loop around the whole thing. But you don't want to do that. You're talking about just taking an amplifier and making it work. Well, it won't. The only way that you can make that work is by not using a Y splitter, but building what's known as a bridged amplifier. So a bridged amplifier requires that you take one of the channels and you flip its phase around versus the other channel. Now, when you put your red terminal on, of your speaker on one amplifier channel and the black input to your speaker on the other channel, now it will work. Where before, if you just did that with two, um, uh, channels, you get nothing because there's no difference between. They're both going up and down at the same time in a signal, and there's no difference. We, we need a difference between the red and the black terminal of our speaker, and the difference is where the current flows. If they're both going up and down at the same time, we get no difference, right? So that's why you can't hook the two red terminals of a stereo amp up to the red and the black terminal of your speaker. You can, but ain't, ain't shit gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. So if we flip the phase on one of those channels, now as this one goes up, this one goes down. Now we have a difference, now you can do it. And if they have XLR inputs, you have both phases. So you could theoretically just change the wiring of your XLR connector on one channel, just flip, what is it? Uh, gosh, I don't remember. You have to look it up. Pin one is ground, I think, and then two and three, and you swap those two, 
and then that would work. And that's called a bridge amplifier. So, sorry, um, that's, that's what I got. So, <laughs> thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.